Hi, I'm Susan French, clinical hypnotherapist. Welcome to Everything Hypnosis, filled with hypnosis facts and recordings. Enjoy and subscribe. Hi there, I'm Susan French, clinical hypnotherapist. Today's topic is about getting a good night's sleep. Getting a good night's sleep is not always as easy as, as it seems like it might. It's not always that simple, right? We all lead highly stressful and busy lives and along with environmental factors and everything going on in our minds and lives every single day. We may end up losing way too much sleep. Even the Dalai Lama says that sleep is the best meditation. If you have trouble sleeping, do not lose hope. There are certain things that you can do and habits that you can start to develop to improve your quality of sleep for good. And today I'm going to get going to give you 10 tips for better sleep. First of all, no alcohol. If you have trouble sleeping, absolutely no alcohol should be consumed anywhere close to bedtime. Yes, it might make you feel sleepy and relaxed, but unfortunately, that effect will wear off after a couple of hours and you'll wake back up. It has been scientifically proven that alcohol can completely disrupt your sleep cycle. Number two now, wear socks. Why? Because according to a study done in the, 19, in the 1990s, researchers found that people who wore socks to bed slept a whole lot better than those who did not. Having warm feet in bed can help you to fall asleep and stay asleep. And then next, all lights out. Never sleep with any lights on at all. This is a big culprit when it comes to bad sleep. The same goes for cell phones and alarm clocks. Check your cable box and clocks. Anything that has lights can trigger your awake mechanism and start slowing down your release of melatonin. And you'll feel restless and wake up. So keep your room as dark as possible even wearing an eye mask to keep the light at bay. That's what I do. And now, when I put my sleep mask on, I fall sound asleep. Number four, get a little bit of exercise. A little bit of working out each day can give your body what it needs to be able to switch off in the evenings. Number five, if you're able to, paint your bedroom a very tranquil that can have a great calming effect on your mind as well as your mood. Keep the things in your room orderly. Number six, pets. I know we all love our cats and our dogs and our birds and even our snakes, but whatever pets we might own and even our children your sleep doesn't love them. Although it's comforting to cuddle up with them at night, anything in the bed besides ourselves can compromise our quality of sleep. Even their subtle movements can wake you up and disturb your sleep without you even realizing it. Truly, I'm not being mean. Get your pets, pets a special bed make them sleep there. Number seven, avoid naps, except for quick ones. Short naps earlier in the day can benefit you, but prolonged naps too close to bedtime can again disrupt the signals from your brain that it's time for you to fall asleep. Eight, and this is a big one. If you have an overactive mind, meditators call that monkey mind, that keeps you awake at night, 
you might start journaling to write down all the things that you need to do next day or just make a list. It has the effect of getting it from your brain onto your paper and you can have the feeling that you don't have to worry about forgetting the things that you need to do and your mind will calm. Almost there now. Number nine, deep breathing. Yoga breathing, relaxation breathing, breathing from the diaphragm. This special kind of deep belly breathing triggers the parasympathetic nervous system. A complicated name that actually triggers the release of serotonin, natural opiates, and help you feel sleepy and help your mind to calm down. And finally, number 10, if you're really struggling to sleep and after trying deep breathing and all the rest of these techniques, get up and get out of bed. Lying in bed, tossing and turning will only stress you out more. A very repetitive and vicious cycle that your mind will continue. Get up out of bed, keep the light dim, we have a little snack, a little something with milk or tryptophan, do some breathing, some muscle relaxation, some hypnotherapy, and then let yourself get back into bed and drift off. The National Sleep Association also has lots of tips and tricks that can help to solve your sleeping problems. Check out the National Institute of Health. Check that out for more advice, but if none of this works and you've done absolutely everything I've suggested, hypnotherapy might just be your answer. It is a clinically proven track record for getting rid of sleep issues for good, solving the root of the problem instead of just the, sim the symptoms. With hypnotherapy, you can work out what's keeping you awake and putting it to bed so that when you crawl into bed, you can fall asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. I've helped many, many clients to develop excellent sleeping habits, including myself. So if you need a little bit of extra help, feel free to call for a free consultation, completely free of charge, no obligation, no pressure, and we can chat, chat about how I can help you get the best sleep of your life. You can call me at 888-333-3688 if you want to learn more about hypnotherapy, life of success coaching, or any other aspects of your life. Stay tuned to this channel and check out my blog for more complete information where I post twice a week. You can find the details in the description box below. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. If you stay tuned, I'm going to put a short hypnosis session following this vlog. See you next time. Thank you for dropping by and see you soon.